everyone, it's Bryce down here at Good Used Cars, and today I've got a lovely Toyota RAV4 to show you. This is the V6 all wheel drive version. In my opinion, it's definitely the best one out there. It's got all the power uh, to get you up to speed and still being decent on fuel economy. It's the V6 has always been my favorite. Loaded up with all the right features. Uh, you got your fog lights, your alloy wheels, crossbars up there. Definitely a rare find. We have people coming in all the time asking for CRVs and RAV4s. The smart choice, the vehicle that always holds its value very well. Low cost of ownership. And just great overall vehicles. All right, let's get in there. So this is your push uh, to unlock and lock the vehicle. So it's a proximity key. You can't lock yourself out of the vehicle because when the key is in the vehicle, it, uh, it won't allow you to because it is a proximity with a push button start. It's great to be able to take your key and just leave it in your purse or your pocket and never have to pull it out. You got your automatic one touch window for the driver, power windows, lockout windows in the rear so the kids don't play with them but constantly. JBL audio system. Excellent source of sound. Uh, if you love music, you will love this sound system. Driver's side is power, um, height adjustable, tilt, tilt forward, lumbar support, all the right features. Got some different, like uh, your down, the downhill assist there, uh, a 120 volts in the back, and of course the lighting on the dash. Automatic headlights. Again, one of the best features, I think, because you just put it in auto, don't have to worry about it. You're not gonna burn your lights out by forgetting about it, uh, and you're not gonna forget to put your lights on. This has very low mileage at 136.5, round it up a little bit. This is a lockable all-wheel drive SUV, which is, in my opinion, again, the best way to go, because you control when it locks in. If, if it's bad weather, others lock it in. If you don't lock it in, it'll just do it by itself and be completely automated so you don't have to worry about it. CD player, um, got satellite radio XM there, and basically your dual climate control. So one temperature on the driver's side, another temperature on the passenger side. Great feature because usually two people run at two different temperatures. I like to be a little bit colder. My partner likes to be a little bit warmer. So in a scenario like this, it's awesome. You've got your push button start cruise control, phone audio, uh, audio here, and here you've got your side mirrors. So power side mirror, auxiliary, heated seats in the front. Uh, this button here is just to heat your steer, uh, your windshield. Heat the windshield, uh, get the wipers all warm. Cubby here, press one, press open. Press and close it. Sunroof, automatic rear view mirror dimmer. So if someone's behind you and they're in a big truck and the lights are hitting your mirror, it's just gonna automatically dim. Nice seating here. Again, this is leather seats, three in the back. Great space. With these ones, I really like it because they kept the tire on the back of the hatch, which gives you more space in the interior of the vehicle. As you can see here, lots of space, nice hard plastic. So if you've got kids or if you're moving equipment or something like that, it's not gonna damage the front of this, I mean the back of the seat. This is for that, uh, it's a hundred watt. We saw the, um, the little power supply up front at the beginning of the video. You've got this guy here, which is gonna be an armrest or a seat. I can't get it with one hand. So just, oh no, I got it. So you got your armrest there and the cup holders. It doubles as a seat for the third seat in the back here. Check the pictures. If you want to see the best pictures that we have, check our website because on all the social medias and Craigslist and stuff like that, it only allows us to do sometimes eight photos. I like to take usually about 30. So if you check our website, all 30 will be on there. Four wheel drive as we're talking. Spare tire in here, of course. It's got a little hitch here. It's not going to tow a lot. Uh, you can put like a bicycle rack on there. Maybe even, uh, you know, it is the V6 model, so you can tow something behind here. And yeah, it's not gonna be crazy. This part here, again, you can just unlock and lock just this back door to get in just to the back. So one of the things that uh, you always gotta look for with these 
hatchbacks is the privacy. Uh, these aren't cheap, and uh, I think, in my opinion, they're they're very important. So you can hide whatever you got back here, so nobody sees it. Keep it out of sight, out of mind. Less likely to get broken into. So here you've got your little release for the back seats. Just hit that. And it goes down flat. And as I was saying before, is it's nice when they have the tire at the back because it just gives you way more space. And then you can see here. We'll just remove this guy. Sorry, the video is a little bit bumpy. You're almost a flat surface. Lots of space. You can be carrying around a lot of stuff. I know lots of people will ask for vehicles that you could sleep in if you had to. Uh, maybe go camping through an air mattress. This would for sure work for that. And then you've got a deep trunk space here. Again, just because that tire is at the back of the hatch, you don't, you're not using up a bunch of the space at the back. If you have a pet, a uh, dog, it's uh, got a nice back lip here so the dog can jump up easily get in and out of the vehicle and then you've got your sub at the back of the door here very great vehicle um, we don't get a lot of these in I suspect this isn't gonna last too long so if you have any questions about this vehicle and of course anything else that we carry here my name is Bryce and I can be reached at the office at 250-743-4626 thanks so much for watching